Hey everybody, welcome back. We're in the third lesson for this quick start course for On One Photo Raw 2022. And in this lesson, we're managing our images, more specifically, organizing and culling them so that we can find our favorites and we can remove the ones that we don't like. So to manage our images here, I've navigated to that September folder that we've created earlier on in the course. And I have about 81 photos here. And I really don't want all of these photos. There's some photos in the shoot that are out of focus. There's some photos in the shoot that I just generally don't like. So this is a great way to find the images that you like in a shoot and remove the ones that you, you're never going to work on ever again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the first image in my series is selected here. And I'm going to hit F on my keyboard to open up my film strip view mode. This is typically how I work when I'm organizing my images and I'm culling them. So what we're gonna do is we're going to rate all of these images in this shoot. We're gonna rate these 81 photos and we're going to rate them either a five star to determine that we like it or we're going to rate it a one star to determine that we don't like it and it's a deselect. Now there's a ton of different ways you can rate your images. You can rate them one to five, you can rate them with colors, you can like or dislike them. But I've found that this is a relatively quick and simple way to find the images that you like and remove your deselects. Just simply rate a five star or a one star and then separate those two groups of images, remove your deselects, and then you have your favorites, the selects from your shoot right there in front of you. So let's do that really quickly. So we've opened up the film strip view mode here. I have my first image selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up here to my top menu. I'm going to select photo. And I'm going to make sure that this auto advanced option is turned on and enabled. So now if I go back up here, I have a little check mark next to it. Now what I can do is I can use my keyboard to rate these images, either a one or five star, and it will automatically advance me to the next image in the series of photographs. So what I'm going to do is just use my keyboard, either one or a five star. This one's a one, nothing very interesting going on here. This one's out of focus, so one, one. That one's in focus, so five. A Little further away, but it looks like it's in focus. So we'll give that a five. And I like the light on that one, so we'll give that one a five as well. This one's okay, he's looking down, nothing interesting. We'll give it a one. So I've made it to the end of the folder. I've rated all the images. Let's hit G on the keyboard. So now we need to separate our favorites from the deselects. To do that, let's head down here to the view modifier and let's select rating and then let's select descending. This is going to put our five star rated photos at the top here. You can see that we have this whole area of five star images. And then it's going to put those one star photos, the ones that we don't like, right at the bottom. So there's a few different ways you can handle the deselects. You can select all of the ones that you don't want. And you can simply delete them. Or you can create a subfolder for them in case you want to access them later. Let's just create a subfolder. I'll right click and I'll choose add subfolder. Let's move these images into the selected folder or move the selected items into that subfolder and let's name it deselects. So now we have this folder, our September folder that we've created with our backyard images and we've narrowed it down to all of our favorite photos from that shoot, only 22 now so it's a lot easier for us to go in and edit these images and find the ones that we're looking for because we've removed the deselects from our view. So now that we've culled through these photographs to find our favorites, we can organize this subfolder a bit. We can actually create a subfolder for our favorites if we'd like. I'll add these into a subfolder or I can copy them into a subfolder 
So now we have this backyard favorites subfolder here. And let's say we access this folder often, or we intend to access this folder quite a bit. We can drag and drop this folder over to our favorites pane here that will add it into the favorites area so that if we navigate away from that folder, we can immediately access our backyard favorites by selecting the favorites and it will pull up those images. And if you need to move images around or move folders into different areas on your computer, you can simply drag and drop inside of Photo Raw to do that. So let's say I'm inside of my local drives and I've navigated to the deselects folder on my computer. Let's grab a couple of these photographs here. Let's create another subfolder. I'll add those images into it. And now let's say we want to move this grapes folder into a different area on our computer or an external hard drive. All we have to do is drag this folder over to our local drives or really anywhere in Photo Raw to move it. I'll just drag it onto my desktop folder. Now if I choose desktop here, I have that grapes folder right there. When it comes to modifying keywords or metadata on your images, all you have to do is select the image or series of images that you want to modify. And you can use the metadata or keyword list pane to modify. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search for keywords on this list. And I've found bird. So let's select that. This will add in that bird keyword into all of these images that I have selected. I can also add in bird watching and it will update the keywords for those images. I can also add in new keywords by selecting this gear icon and I can import or export keywords as well. Let's modify a bit of the metadata. I'm just going to modify the description here. Now if I need to search for these images quickly, I can head up to the search bar and I can search for any of the relevant terms for those images and they'll pop up. 